geodetic distance is different than straight line distance because it takes into account the curvature of the Earth. For AutoCAD Map to calculate a geodetic distance, you first must have a coordinate system assigned to your drawing. So let's check that out in our current drawing first. We'll go to the Map Setup tab and go to Coordinate System and pick a sign. And here we can see that we have a coordinate system of a NAT83 California State Plane Zone 1 US foot assigned to our drawing. And with that information in place, AutoCAD Map would be able to use the geodetic distance command and calculate that distance and the curvature of the Earth across that. So we'll pick OK to keep that. And then we'll go to the Analyze tab. And on the GeoTools panel, we have Geodetic Distance. Pick that command. And at the command line, it just starts asking us to select points to measure from. In our case, we have the city of Reading and two points identified at the far lower right corner of our screen and far lower left that we're going to measure between. I'll just use a node O snap to make sure that we're snapping precisely. And I'll snap to each point. And the at the command line, you can see our results. Notice our distance is 45,649 feet. And notice that it says that it's in feet. That's because AutoCAD Map knows the units based on the coordinate system that was assigned to the drawing. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'll paste it in, in, into Notepad so I have this information for us to compare. And now I'm just going to use the standard AutoCAD distance command. I'll type it in at the command line. And again, snap to the two nodes that we're measuring between. And here's my AutoCAD distance. copy and paste that into Notepad and we can compare those here. And you'll notice that basically we have a dis difference of about four feet between the two distances. And that's coming from the geodetic distance calculating the curvature of the Earth to compensate for this.